The other day I got two pack two two packages from Max Peding Rods. Ooh, oh my god. We got this box. And we also have another box. Two box oh, that's my address. Two boxes. I got these packages organized to be sent out to me before I even bought the car. Before I show you those packages, we're gonna head somewhere. It's all gonna make sense in a bit. I'm gonna load those into the Lancer. We're gonna take it to our, a friend of ours because I really wanna show him because he's the expert and I think he will be as hyped as me. Look guys, a little bit more on the serious note here. If you do know where I live, please do not drive past my house expecting me to react to you. Look, I've had a few instances like this in the past. It's not something I'm proud of. I don't like the fact that I've accumulated a following whereby there are some people that think it's funny to drive past my house or rev past my house. And if that's you, please, look, it is what it is. You've done it now. Just don't do it again. It's just showing absolute no respect. I don't even know how to react, to be honest. When people come by and stop or just drive past and look, I kind of know people because I've seen people at car meets don't drive past my house. It's honestly f***ing creepy. Okay, anyway, now that that's out the way, we're gonna load the car up with some parts, then head over to our planned destination. <laughs> Guys, I've been enjoying this car so much, not because it's fast, actually the complete opposite, because it's slow. And it feels like you're going fast. It's it's so funny. Like, I promise when I make these videos, I'm not speeding. The car literally is hitting the speed limit after I do pulls. And the pod filter makes it so much more enjoyable as well. <laughs> Limiter on this car as well sounds immaculate. <laughs> See, that's the speed limit. Now, I've never been able to put more than 30 liters of fuel in this thing, and I can get so far with just a full tank of petrol, so this thing is extremely cheap to run. I've literally went all the way to the toge and back, absolutely sent it, and we only used a quarter of a tank. So we have three quarters left after absolutely reaming it, and it's only 30 liters. I literally can't put any more fuel in than that. I can literally just daily this thing for the rest of my life, and I'd be happy. All right, guys, we have made it. And the reason why I've taken this car here, because it's in the name, TT, Turbo Tristan. What's up, man? What's going hey, on? Hey, what's going on, everybody? First time seeing the Nugget. And uh, how right was I about the pod filter? It sounds freaking mint. Dude, you were so right. It's actually <laughs> insane. I'll show you. I got a $29 Neo Chrome pod filter from AliExpress. I watched the video, man. It's mint. It sounds crazy. It sounds like it's got VTEX. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> man, you, you could have you could have pressure washed the engine bay nah, before you put the nah. pod filter on. No. Nah. Banky, banky, stanky. Do you, re do you reckon it's going to take boost? Yeah, hard. Yeah? Friend of mine had a T28 on one of these. It used to rip. Really? Yep. Stock engine, T28, boom, and like a, a fuel tuner, like a, a AFC. Okay. SAFC. Sorry, there's something in my eye. That's all right. So yeah, the main reason I brought it here though, Tristan, is because I've got some specials, some special boxes in the boot. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get that open. <laughs> oh yeah, it all fits in there. Dan, you've been to Harry's parts. Two big boxes. Look at this. I don't know what. Is this the normal size of a turbo box from Max Pinwood? Hell no. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but we got an extra big box. Yeah, Two big boxes from the one and only Max Keating Rods. Wow! We'll start off with we'll start off with the turbo box. Yeah. Yeah. It is the same turbo that I had on my D16, which is a 1.6 single jingle, just like the 1.5 that Rex has got, and it punched out 150 kilowatts on like 10 psi, and yeah, it was awesome. Heaps responsive, heaps of spool. It's the same one. Same one. Oh wow, it's tiny. You you look like you've got the version two. It's got a few more yes. um, oh. bits and pieces on it. We'll fully get it open so you can have a look, guys. But yeah, this is a like pretty much a S15 standard turbo upgrade. Oh, yep. whoa, what the hell? Look at that. Sick badge that's, for the Lancer. That's going on the back of the Lancer. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's way better than the one I had. Really? It's got the gold wheel like your one. Yeah, yep. It's got the high temp gold wheel we'll give you more of a tour on this a little bit later but yeah it looks like it's a pretty good turbo it's got the the gold billet upgraded wheel that all the new max speeding rods high performance turbos have and i, I believe they're balanced as well yeah like they're balanced. balanced yeah six so you don't need to do anything there it's got the uh apexy style fins so these fins are to direct air into the other fins to cool so there's fins to direct air into fins oh what the hell they're up in the game every day these guys wow 
So I knew, I knew Tristan was going to be as hyped as I am. That's why I brought this cold kit here because look, this guy, Max Pedenrod's enthusiast. <laughs> I'm always an enthusiast when there's cheap boost involved. Oh yeah. yeah it looks easy. exactly like your kit. Yeah. Perfect. Sweet. Got all the pipes and stuff. We can alley weld now. So if we need to chop anything and weld it up, we can do that all in house at the Banky garage. Thank you, Fab. Can you do alley yet? No, I haven't tried. Ah, uh, this guy's a noob. No, we'll teach him. No, no. Tristan just dropped this news on me. What is this, Tristan? Actually, it was the last time I drove a 1.5 Mitsubishi Lancer slash Mirage. It was the last time I ever grenaded an engine, and it was one of these 1.5s. <laughs> Now, I've given the keys to Tristan because uh, I want him to hear the pod filter. Oh wait, I haven't even given you the keys. Well, here we go. Because I want him to rip it. I want you to hit some lim lim. Dung, 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 dung. Unfortunately, no Doma VTEC in this thing, Tristan. We can change that. It's got low case. It's only run in 146. Oh, what the hell it's is a 40 that? zone. Slow down. <laughs> oh. just hit the speed limit. That's it. You're at the speed I'm, limit I'm now. At the speed limit now. Yeah, that's it. Game over. We were like revving for like a good like 10 seconds there and we're at the speed limit. That's why gonna, it's fun. I was gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go back home so you can do that. <laughs> I wanna do uh you know the one JZ power so deep. Oh. Come on. 50 60 Mitsubishi power Tristan's gonna send it underneath the tunnel. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> this thing absolutely rips. <laughs> Dude, that thing just makes the best sound ever. <laughs> I kind of feel bad, but that's what limit is for, right? Yeah. So Tristan's just offered me a drive in his turbo K20 Civic, so I can't really turn that down. We're gonna take that thing for a rip. Is it K24? Oh, it's a 2.4. Oh, my bad, there you go, K24. The last time I drove this car, guys, it had a D16 engine in there. D16 VTEC Turbo. Now it's got, yeah, the K20. I'll show you that out in the sunlight a little bit later, but it almost like blew up on me. I've driven this car, I've, I've had the opportunity to drive it, Tristan's let me, and when you drive it, you, it spools and then it just goes like from Rugrats, you know that little kid? Is there anything you don't want me to do? Don't smash. Yep, I'll try not to smash. <laughs> holy moly, <laughs> alright. <laughs> what the hell, dude? That sounds crazy. That is so <laughs> loud. He wasn't joking, bro. It's freaking loud, dude. <laughs> oh, wow, that's so responsive. What the hell? Is insane. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's 
This is the next level. I'm shocked. We like, I gave it a little bit just around a corner and just, voop, just lit up the wheels. Oh man, yeah, this- it's got an extra 70 kilowatts. That's gonna be scary. Yeah. Genuinely scary. Fires, yeah. yeah. Guys, my lance is being unreliable. God damn it. You're gonna have to roll start me. What happened here? Looks like Nathan trolled me. He unplugged the distributor. Ah. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back at home now. And if you didn't get it by now, this video is sponsored by Max Peating Rods. Max Peating Rods has worked with me plenty of times in the past, guys. They actually sell really good products. I wouldn't tell you guys this unless I believed it. Um, I've had many Max Peating Rods products in the past and they're awesome. So guys, here is a T28 Max Peating Rods Turbo that we're gonna be putting on the Lancer. It's got a aluminum billet wheel. I think it's aluminum, but it's got a billet golden wheel in there, compressor wheel. Look at that. These are the new Max Peating Rods turbos. So the K20 that we just went in as well also had one of these turbos. Max Peating Rods turbos and they pulled ridiculously. It's unbelievable that you can get turbos now for this cheap that perform this well. In the past, obviously Max Peating Rods, you know, didn't have the best turbos, but now they, they do, they, they're incredible. So it basically is like a stock replacement upgrade for an S15 SR20. This should be pretty responsive. Give us all the reliability as this turbo is a good turbo. Here's a good look at everything. Pretty typical, pretty standard. We're gonna be chucking like a V-band rear housing on here, so I'm excited for that. I've already got it somewhere in the garage, um, but this is awesome. Look at the quality we got here. This imprint on the compressor housing right there. We are also gonna be running this internal wastegate for the time being. We might go external. We'll see how we go, depending on how um, limiting the internal wastegate is gonna be, but that looks like a pretty decent size. We might need to port it out or something. I don't know. God damn, this thing's heavy. Oh, guys, I am so excited. So excited. Woo! <laughs> there you go, guys. Wow. If you wanna follow this journey, click subscribe. And if you like the video, obviously, click that like button or dislike the video if you disliked it. Really helps. Let's me know if I'm making good content or bad content. Um, but yeah, here's the RT28 Turbo on top of the 4G15. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting, but we shall see how we go. Woo! Really keen for this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Catch ya. Sorry, there's something in my eye. That's all right. <laughs> AFC before.